The last Saturday in April is World Tai Chi Day. Every year in cities around the world, groups of people practice Tai Chi and Qi Gong to promote personal global health and healing on that day. Every year in New York City, film producer and Tai Chi practitioner Warrington Hutland celebrates the official New York City World Tai Chi Day for Health and Safety, with many demonstrations by various instructors, practitioners, and some free classes. This year's event was scheduled to be held on a rooftop park at Pier 57, but it rained. The, uh, the weather, of course, is uh, challenging. But Tai Chi, if you think about it, is all about responding to challenge. That is no obstacle, it's simply an opportunity to redirect. And, and in that sense, Tai Chi is more than, it's not only uh, hope and self-defense, it's, it's a mindset. And I'm, that's what makes me love it. That's what makes me passionate about it. It is a way of looking at the world. Hi, thank you for having me. Um, I, so I didn't prepare a speech because uh, I didn't know what I, exactly what I was walking into. But speaking of fraternity, um, I definitely walk in here and the energy in the room is, it feels like home, honestly, because this is the energy that I'm used to. <laughs> City Hall is very competitive, um, and everybody's got their chest out, and you know, it's it's a tough place to navigate. Um, and it's interesting when you come into a room with people who can actually fight, <laughs> uh, and, I, and you can actually do some real damage. We don't have the need to poke our chest out, or wear our belts, or act tough. Um, you know, we, we, we know what we're capable of and, and don't have the desire or the need to be boisterous or, you know, um, um, say, feel or say that we're better than anybody. And, and that's the energy that I love when you walk into a room like this of, of very strong and confident and humble people um, is that we can all come from different disciplines um, and backgrounds, um, but have the same core um, energy and purpose. Um, so thank you for having me. Um, again, I'm here on behalf of Mayor Adams from the newly uh, formed uh, Office of Sports, Wellness, and Recreation. There we go. Um, the office was um, created last year. I was appointed six months ago. And so um, our focus this year really is, I mean, we're building out the infrastructure and the foundation of the office itself. Um, but the mayor wants to make sure that New Yorkers are engaged um, in some type of wellness and recreation activities. We are um, here to identify the gaps and, you know, where can we elevate um, recreation? Why aren't our kids engaged more in recreation? How can we make it more accessible? Um, more affordable to the everyday New Yorker. And so I'm excited to come into rooms like this and learn about what it is that you're doing so that um, we can help elevate and, and, and bring awareness to the city that, especially martial arts, I mean, I've been in it since I was 13 years old. Um, I was an instructor at 21. I, this is like my baby. I, I, love, I love martial arts, um, like my kids. And, um, but I have been disconnected from it for so long. So coming back into this energy, I feel as though um, it's a great opportunity to bring this right back to the mayor and say, what can we do with this? How can we make this bigger? Um, how can we make it more visible to the everyday New Yorker? And most importantly, how do we get our kids more disciplined? Because that, I, I personally have said to him on many occasions that I think that that's what our kids are missing. Um, is a form of discipline. And that doesn't mean learning how to fight so that you can go outside and fight, because I'm sure everybody in this room knows, like, we are on the defense, we're not on offense, we're not going out there starting fights. You know, we're supposed to disarm, we're supposed to protect the little guy, um, and, and I think that's what a, a lot of these kids are missing. So, you know, the, the, the mayor cares about health and wellness and sports, but he also ran on public safety. And, and I think that if we incorporate more martial arts and discipline to our young people, I think that that's where we're gonna start seeing changes. So thank you for inviting me. Um, and I'm happy to bring this to right to his desk and say, how do we make this uh, a priority uh, for next year? Uh, so you thank, you. thank you, thank you. Relax the shoulders. Good, bend your 
knees slightly. All right, so now you're gonna breathe in. And you're gonna lift your left heel up. Step out, shoulders lift, good. You're gonna push your hands away as you sink down. Then you're gonna breathe in and rise up. Now wave your hands on Tai Chi. Now, you just make it look Tai Chi. There you go. That's it. That's it. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> Excellent. It's like cast stands. That's it. Good. Pour it off. Hold the ball. Roll back. Hands come together. Press or squeeze. Good. Circle. Palms down. Good. Rib. Now push down, body out. Nice. Soften. Grab and turn. Now, this is improv because I'm going to shorten this now. Body down, left heel up. Shift. <laughs> Until you get all the way on the right foot. So now you set up there, which is all three sides. You're going to brush knee on the right side, touch on the left, and you square off, keep your back heel down at all times. Except for now, right? Because we're not active. So we're going to prepare, change to step out three, and turn. You're going to rotate on your back heel. So you turn from lights. What brings you out in the rain for World Tai Chi Day? Uh, I wouldn't miss it for anything, quite honestly. Uh, well, first off, you can't get a better uh, location, right? So this is like one of the best spots to, to, to practice Tai Chi, but also the community of people who love Tai Chi, just to be around them, and just to see other forms and the conversation about it. Uh, it's wonderful. It's great to be a part of this. Hey, you come out so, here. We try to give our support so to the Tai Chi grow, you know, because I've been doing Tai Chi for like 30 years. So, you know, it's, good, it's good to exchange and see other people doing different different forms of the Tai Chi. You know, the, hard, the hardest thing is to understand the Tai Chi principle. What made you come out in the rain? <laughs> you have to walk through snow to get to training, to get to class, to get to whatever you need to get through. This rain is not a big uh, impediment on the training. I mean, I don't think you'd want to miss out on this at all. It's only once a year, so, you know, rain wouldn't stop me from this at all. If you just look around, it's a little bit less people, but the quality doesn't drop at all. Yeah. So, Thank you, Grand, Grandmaster. What made you come out here to World Tai Chi during the rain? <laughs> I'm a dedicated martial artist. 
and I heard my man was here, and I love Arnie as well as Tai Chi, and I'm always willing to support my brother Barnes. So this is a this is a great thing. And those who missed it, you missed it. <laughs>